Hey folks, my name is Umkar Jagdai and I'm coming at you from Detroit, Michigan. Today I'm going to talk to you about Masters of Science in Transportation Engineering, how you can find jobs in transportation engineering field. But before we get started, I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up to the video. It allows me to reach out to more people just like you. So thank you very much and let's get started. So transportation engineering jobs. Um, now understand one thing folks, even though that may sound very interesting and the title is very cool um, that's not all the story there are always sub disciplines part of any title you hear like construction management transportation engineering structural engineering there are always sub disciplines and i'm going to talk to you about these sub disciplines so some of these disciplines in transportation engineering involve traffic engineering highway engineering then there is a very interesting field called ITS, which is Intelligent Transportation Systems. Um, I would say it's a little bit more of technology, the future technology that's coming into the engineering industry, the civil engineering industry specifically. Uh, that's kind of the things involved there. I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, towards the end. Then this field also involves uh, airports, bridges, uh, railroads, um, sometimes even waterways, depending upon what projects you're working on and then uh, connected and automated vehicles. Uh, that also goes back into ITS. So if you want to do a master's in this kind of field and eventually end up in a job which where you're working as a transportation engineer or any of these engineers I just is discussed, um, what you need to study is transportation engineering. So for your master's, what I would choose if you want to go into these fields is master's of science in transportation engineering. Now understand one thing before I go into a little bit detail, just because you don't have a master's in transportation engineering does not mean that you cannot end up in one of these fields. As a matter of fact, I have friends who have construction management degrees. Some of them even have plain civil engineering degrees, uh, bachelors, and they are able to work in that. As a matter of fact, I myself, I have a bachelor's of science in civil engineering and I'm working as a highway engineer. So understand one thing just because you don't have a degree pertaining to this topic doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to work in this field okay so saying that uh, the best path is by doing your master's in transportation engineering so let's talk about that so if you find out which university is good for that for example i i went to lawrence tech university while doing my undergrad i took a couple of classes which were master's level classes and for that i took classes in uh, transportation engineering. As a matter of fact, I took uh, traffic safety and I took uh, highway safety engineering. I took highway engineering. So there were a few classes I took into, into transportation engineering field. Uh, some other classes I'll give an example of is pavement management, uh, I'm sorry, pavement design and uh, construction management classes also you can take. So as a part of your entire transportation engineering major, you have a chance to take a lot of classes in different fields. So Understand one thing, just because you are aiming to become a transportation engineer doesn't mean you only have to take classes in that field only. So that's what I love about uh, education in US is understand. So if you have to complete your masters, you'll have to do about 10 to 12 classes. Within those 10 to 12 classes, you will also have a chance to do classes from other disciplines. For example, maybe a couple of classes in structures, a couple of classes in concrete design, a couple of classes in construction management. Now you can mix and match this, okay? okay? You can choose these depending upon your interest, depending, depending upon what you love to do, what you feel is easier for you, sometimes even which professors are easy. Um, so there are a lot of different iterations you can go through to come up to your conclusions. So let's say it takes you a couple of years to graduate uh, and unfortunately or fortunately you didn't get a chance to do internship. So how do you approach job market after this? Um, this is what I would do, okay? So let's say once you complete your master's, you have a few opportunities to get into transportation engineering jobs. So what kind of companies you will be looking into? So here's the thing, uh, understand one thing. In, one thing in US is most of the jobs in US for transportation or infrastructure are directly or indirectly dependent upon the government. So, because understand, most of the infrastructure is funded by government money, by taxpayers' money. So, 
if you see a lot of like department of transportation uh, or state owned entities will invest money into design and rehabilitation of these roads bridges and etc so understand one thing so let's say if you are not able to get into these companies your second chance is to get into design and consulting companies which kind of like work with these companies work with these dots so what happens then is you're indirectly working with government um, also these private companies if you're international will do your h1b will do your sponsorship um, because there is a need for civil engineers right now there are not a lot of civil engineers also the government is putting a lot of money into infrastructure um, after what happened with covid because a lot of stimulus money is coming into this uh, so understand one thing so um, what i would do is let's say you get a job into one of these companies the way you find these companies is basically identify three or four big companies like acom wsp jacobs or hntb these are like huge companies who always work with governments their primary projects are dependent on government so most of their income comes from that, comes from that so most probably you'll be working for one of these companies um, now there are also small companies who kind of do small design work for government uh, these are called dbes which are disadvantaged business uh, entities so these basically are small companies um, which may or may not have the capability to work on big projects but as a part of government projects it's mandatory for bigger companies to give some portion of their work to these small businesses so these dbe companies are very profitable and they always stay in business because it's mandatory for any government contract to have one or two dbe companies on their portfolio for that project so all right so what kind of job opportunities you have okay so we discussed uh, what kind of companies you will be working with what kind of job uh, consulting companies you will be working with and then i would say let's talk about salary now an entry level transportation engineer uh, from what i have known usually makes about 60 to 70000 uh, dollars and i'm giving that an average number i think it's a little bit more it's they make a little bit more money in my opinion than uh, a normal civil engineer uh, because f- just like the experience i've had so far i feel like they make a little bit more money for example i have a friend of mine who has a phd and when he graduated he got a package for about $65000 and he works as a transportation engineer so uh, here's the thing it really depends upon which company you go you know i made a video recently about what kind of job opportunities you have what kind of salaries you have in civil engineering fields it really depend upon depends upon the company you go to so understand one thing so don't worry about salary eventually when you get your pe license and you get your pe exam in transportation engineering you will end up at a six figure income within 10 about 8 10 years of experience so you sh- if you do well if you put in the effort you will get there so don't worry about that okay Now um I'm going to answer one of the questions somebody asked me on uh, the YouTube channel so they asked me like uh, sir which master's course is better after BS in civil engineering BS in civil engineering now this is a very common question folks a lot of people ask me like uh, wh- which sub discipline should i choose water engineering transportation structures so here's what my answer for you guys is okay now it's very hard to determine from where you are to really go where you want to be okay so what my advice is choose something you really like right now for example let's say if you like construction management get into construction management start working towards a masters in construction management and start applying for schools start looking at schools and then let's say once you get into your program start taking classes and let's say within first semester you found out that maybe you are not much interested in this you still have an opportunity to go into different majors not only that even as a part of your construction management degree you can take classes in structures you can t- take classes in pavement management you can take classes in water resources because you have those choices so once you take classes in that and you feel like maybe you are enjoying them you are liking them i think that's the direction you want to go um uh, after you start your masters so understand one thing folks you will never have all the information you need before you start your masters you always have to 
kind of take a plunge into the water you know step into the water see how things are and then eventually as you keep walking you will start seeing things which you, before you have you may not have, may not have known so i think that's the best advice i can give from my experience um, to someone who has recently graduated with a bachelor's okay and i think that's pretty much what i had for you you know and if you have any questions put it in the comment section um i love listening from you guys um also let me know what topics you want me to discuss because uh, i'm kind of running out of topics these days so i would love to hear from you guys if you have any questions let me know um i love to answer those questions and if you want to connect to me on a personal level where you can ask me questions directly uh you can connect me on my instagram handle at omkar a jagdare um at instagram all right and uh, i think that's pretty much what i had for you and i'll see you in the next video till then have a good one